He can't cover all three of us. Down the floor, Rocky. night's work, Cato. When the district attorney receives this evidence in his morning mail, it'll be the end of Mr. Rockford's bus racket. Green Hornet breaks another racket. Rockford indicted. What's the... Yes? Mr. Roberts is calling. Put him right on. Hello, Charles. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, listen, Brett, I have to see you right away. Well, it sounds like you've really got something. <laughs> I have, and it's big. So big that I'm going to the district attorney right after I... Hello. Hello. Charles? Hello. Operator, I've been cut off. There's no one on the line now, sir. Thank you. Going down to Charles Roberts' office. Yes, sir. Is Mr. Roberts in? Well, hello, Johnny. What are you doing here? Hello, Mr. Reed. Oh, I just got out of school. Charlie's teaching me the trucking business. Won't be long before it's Roberts Brothers Incorporated. Oh, that's swell, John. Is Charles in? Sure. I'll give him a bite. I guess it's out of order. Is there anybody with him? No, I'll take you right in. It's funny, it's locked. Charlie! Hey, Charlie! Have you got a key? Yeah, I've got one. Charlie, Mr. Reed is here. Hey, Britt, what's the matter There's with him? He's got in his hand. Charlie! Dead, Brit. Don't. Don't you. But Brit, he's dead. Oh, you mustn't touch anything. He's been shot. I've got to call the police.
just a plain case of suicide, Reed. I can't believe it. Roberts had just been talking to me on the telephone. He didn't sound like a man that was going to commit suicide. John, did anybody come to see Charles between the time he called me at 9.30 and the time I arrived here? There you are, Reed. But I tell you, there was someone in here. That cigarette was burning when we first discovered the body. And Charles Roberts never smoked cigarettes. Look, Reed. The man was found shot. The gun was in his hand. The wound could be self-inflicted. The outer door is bolted from the inside. Add it all up, it equals suicide. Unless you can get some further evidence. The case will have to go as reported. I'll get that evidence. John, are you sure you can think of nothing that would have made Charles do a thing? No, no, I, I can't, Mr. Reed. And you didn't leave your office at any time? No, I didn't. Well, then why didn't you hear the shot? Well, I was probably in a stock room. Then you did leave your office. Yeah, but I was only gone for a few minutes. it had been long enough. Tell me, do you know what Charles was going to talk to me about over the phone? No, I don't. He was looking at some insurance reports, which seemed to upset him, and then he told me to take a bill of lading out to the stockroom. Do you know what was in those reports? Oh, about truck breakdowns, delaying shipments, causing insurance rates to be increased, costing us a lot of customers. Sabotage? Well, the insurance investigators thought so. Where are those papers? I'd like to see them. Why, they're on the desk. They're gone. That's enough for me. Charles was murdered, and the man that did it took those papers. you like a good job? I've got a good job. Listen, why don't you Tri-State guys stay out of here? We don't want any part of that outfit. You guys are haywire. Tri-State pays better. Well, Acme pays us okay. We're not interested. Hey, speak for yourself, Bill. I think I would be interested. Say, you're gonna run out on the company, huh? Why, you... <laughs> Why don't you get me all the information you can concerning the recent accidents to the Acme Transportation Company? <laughs> you mean the Jinx Transportation Company, don't you? Why do you say that? On account of all the accidents that's been happening to their trucks. Don't you read your own paper? Check with all the Acme competitors. I want to know who's getting their canceled contracts. Yes, sir. And, James, I want you to go down to our morgue and get all the dope you can on the accidents to Acme trucks. Right. Oh, boy, I smell a story. Wetstree, Wetstree, Central Paper, read about that truck probe, big truck probe coming. Chief wanted you here at 10 o'clock. Says your department is falling down on the job. Let's see what he has to say. We're ready, sir. Sligby, I want contracts. Let this small fry alone. Get after the big ones. Tim Bryan is the biggest shipper in the valley. I want him signed. Get him. I don't care how you do it. Mr. Bryan, Tri-State would like to handle your transportation. We can save you a lot of money. Acme has been handling our stuff for a good many years, Mr. Dean. Yes, I know. We not only can beat their prices, but guarantee delivery and on time. Acme does that? And I'm willing to pay their charges. If I left them now, they'd close down completely. If you don't, you might close down. That sounds like a threat, Mr. Dean. <laughs> no, not at all. Only Acme has been having a lot of mishaps lately. Delays are costly. And in the case of perishables, ruinous. You have my decision. Very well, Mr. Bryant. See you again. Good day. Act 
Acme's biggest shipper, according to your report, is Brian. He's got a lot of perishables going to Kentville today. Where did we go to contact him? Why, Britt, at the Acme Yards, of course. Well, if what I suspect is true, the yards are being watched, and I don't want to be seen. Oh, well, uh, there's the market coffee shop. All the trucks going in and out of town stop there. All right, the market coffee shop it is. And we better take one of our delivery trucks. I want to attract as little attention as possible. I got you. All right, give us anything that's cold, sister. outfit. That ain't funny, wise guy. How'd you get this far without breaking down? It's 12 blocks from the depot. That truck's as good as any Tri-State has, and it ain't gonna break down. I checked it all myself, every inch. So long, sir. Why don't you look where you're going? What's the hurry, buddy? You're not going any place with that Acme truck. Uh. Bet he doesn't make the bottom of the hill. Shut up. Let's get out of here. And listen, put a muffler on that big mouth of yours. That didn't sound like kidding to me. We better get out and take a look at that truck. It was a swell job of driving, buddy. What happened? Felt like I lost my brake fluid. That couldn't have been done deliberately, could it? Sure, in two minutes. Say, that tri-state crook told me I wouldn't get very far. Well, this is goodbye Acme Transportation Company. What do you mean? If I don't get this load in on time, we lose the Bryan contract. You won't lose the Bryan contract. Get a tow rope and we'll pull you in. Okay, buddy, let's go. Good evening, Mr. Britt. Hello, Cato. Get the gun, mask, and car ready. We're going out tonight. Where to? To the Tri-State Truck Depot. <laughs>
at his own bridge? Mm -hmm. Well, Acme's crossing it tonight with a truckload of Brian's perishables. Using the old road to fool us, huh? Yeah. Corey, get the boys and put that bridge out of commission. Dean, take Andy and fix that carload of fruit that Brian has at the railroad yards. Yeah, that'll show him the deal with Acme is expensive. See you at the bridge, Corey. How come? Thought you were laying low since you bumped Roberts. Lay off that Roberts business. There's no evidence against me. <laughs> Not if you destroy those insurance papers you took off Roberts' desk. Don't worry about that. I've got those locked in the safe. Get started, you fellas. Move, Slickby. The Green Hornet. What do you want? The insurance report you took from Charles Roberts the night you murdered him. I didn't kill Roberts. I know you did, and I want those reports. I'll get them. <laughs> Tie him up, Cato. Headquarters, Captain Ridge, send a squad car to the Tri-State Trucking Office. You'll find Robert's murderer there. Where will we go now? Down to the freight yard to get Sligby's partners. Open that car door while I get this fruit destroyer ready. This is far enough, Cato. Throw off your lights and silence the motor. away from that gun. I want to ask you a few questions. Where's your partner? Right behind you. one this side. Uh -oh. 